So I've plumbed in my water tank. That's the downspout on the very front of the house. It goes down, it comes across all the way underneath the house, takes a turn, joins the downspout from the deck and comes down to that little T intersection where it cuts across and goes straight into the tank. The tank has a cover and also a fly screen or sorry mosquito screen to stop any uh, insects getting in there as well as stop uh, sort of fairly large debris. Now where the uh, pipe comes down to this TNA section I thought I'd put in a first flush rain diverter which basically means all the gunk from my roof with the first wash of rain rather than go into my tank I'll have it come down and then it can just slowly get washed away and to do this you can buy a kit for about $27 and I'd highly recommend you do that because it's not that expensive, much more expensive than all the components I've bought. But I saved about 10 bucks, but more importantly, I really, really enjoy building stuff like this. It's like Lego for big kids. So, first thing into there, just a that's a female 90, so I'm just gonna slot up just this little section. Next component we've got is this reducer. It goes from a 90 millimeter pipe down to a, up to a hundred. So got a sleeve and all we do is pop that in. And that should be ready to go on. Now what I've done is that's going to go to a 100 millimeter pipe and I was going to get a polystyrene ball from the art supply shop which was going to cost a dollar and just 100 millimeter ball and shave off the sides a little bit but as you can see or well maybe not here this water bottle is just a little bit less than 100 mil and will float and more importantly it'll plug up that hole perfectly so rather than get the styrofoam bowl I'll just reuse that and what I've done here is I've cut it down to size it was about contained one and a half litres and rather than wasting all that space have it something small and worst case if that doesn't work although I can't see why it won't I can go buy the one dollar ball and just plonk it in. We take that sleeve and push it all up. So now we've got the 90 mil pipe goes into the coupling, the reducer sorry, and now I just have to put in this 100 millimeter pipe up into there. Now one of the bonuses of doing this myself rather than an off-the-shelf kit is that I get to use a 100mm pipe, or I have to sort of use 100mm pipe um, but every metre of 100mm pipe gives me an extra 6 litres of dirty water I can flush away versus a 90mm system so it's just a little bonus, it just ensures a lot more uh, the dirty water gets uh, removed before going to the tank so we're just going to slide this up onto the coupling. So now that we've got all the top section done, now you don't need a thread here, it was the same price as this regular sleeve, but I just got the same thing. So all the way down the bottom, we do need the thread because what we're going to do is put our sealed cap and before we do that, we just pop our bottle in. I do have a lid for that, so it'll be fully sealed. 
and basically screw that up. Now, when I do this up, I'm going to have to test it and just make sure I'll probably just do a little marking and see exactly where I need to tighten it to so that it just seeps a little bit of water out. Um, a normal off the shelf kit has a little weeper in the bottom so that it all just trickles out. I have seen some people just drill a little say five millimeter hole or three millimeter hole just to start and with the hole on the bottom just make sure that there is enough flow that the water will trickle out. You don't want it water sitting in there stagnating and um, should be enough to uh, even a little bit of this the silt drops through as well and then every couple of rains all you have to do is uh, unscrew the cap from the base and just let all the larger muck fall out and just clean out the, the pipe and just give it a hose out and that's it. Now obviously I've just done this video without using any glue at all so I'm just waiting for the silicon to dry on my little float and then it'll be good to go. Um, hopefully I can get it done by the end of today because we're expecting a bit of rain as you can see from the clouds over the next day or two. So there you go, do it yourself, first flush diverter. Uh, it wasn't dry enough to do any gluing yesterday when I assembled all this so I just left it and I thought I'd just leave it in position and I've popped the little silicon up uh, water bottle but you can hear the tank slowly filling so it is working despite the fact that it is uh, leaking quite a lot because obviously nothing's sealed up so I'm pretty happy with the setup and when we get a little bit of dry weather I'll uh, finish sealing off the whole diverter system. So, great news. Have an awesome day.